in this video I want to talk to you about a wildflower that was introduced into the UK in the 1700s and is now pretty much classed as a native wildflower because it's pretty widespread and it grows in a variety of places. Uh, a lot of you may associate it with dry stone walls, cliffs, all the kind of really odd places that you wouldn't expect to find wildflowers where it actually thrives. Uh, it prefers well-drained soils but it will grow in slightly heavier soils as well. And the plant I'm referring to, of course, is red valerian, like this wonderful specimen to my right. And it usually comes in three colour forms, this lovely pink colour, also white and a, a deep red, which is probably my favourite. Uh, all three are equally as good for insects and they do attract an enormous amount of butterflies, bees and moths throughout the summer months. Now this one is actually just starting to flower now, has been flowering for the last few days, it's now early May and it will flower through into June. But the other thing I love about this plant is it will flower or have a second flush of flowers if you like later on in the summer, sort of July, August time, which is great for any other migratory species coming over, things such as the painted lady for example. Uh, but it is an absolute favourite of one particular day flying moth uh, and that is the hummingbird hawk moth which is uh, quite unique in its appearance, it's a fantastic little moth and you can expect to find them uh, using this flower a lot which of course it's, this is throughout the Mediterranean this plant so they're used to that as a nectar source so hummingbird hawk moths is a good one for those. Now I've known this plant flower in pretty dull conditions shall we say or dark conditions so uh, where it's partial shade they are a good one as well uh, but it also equally in the south facing front garden here it loves sort of hot baked situations so red valerian add it to your garden list and I promise you you'll be rewarded with tons of insects.